Right, look at this setup in Lincoln's office. He's got lights. We got mints. We're good. Mints. You got your fancy little plants. What kind of plants are these, Lincoln? Dead. Dead? <laughs> Hello, dead plants. <laughs> So what's happening today is Lincoln has a school project that is due tomorrow. Okay. Alright, explain a little bit to the camera before we do your project. So, so my project, I picked to do it on bomb cycle, and so I had to pick like one severe weather. One severe weather? One severe type of weather. Natural disaster. Natural disaster. Yes. That's very dangerous. And I picked bomb cyclones. And you picked these because they produce lightning. So I'm not sure. It's kind of a stretch, a little bit of a stretch to go from bomb cyclone I, I to lifesavers. So, because it's like, because there's certain. You'll see. You'll see in the videos. Here's what we're gonna do. We just decided, let's might as well vlog it and show you guys Lincoln's last minute science project that he's doing. And you're gonna learn all about bomb cyclones and all about lightning and bomb all about cyclones and all about lifesavers mints. Sound Makes good? your breath smell good. Woo! -hoo, this is good. You've heard of a blizzard, you've heard of a hurricane. What happened if the two of them got married? A bomb cyclone would happen. That's what I'm going to be talking to you about for my natural disaster project. A bomb cyclone is basically when a blizzard and a hurricane combine and it's just very dangerous and very rare. But recently it happened on January 4th, 2018. So the way I even heard about this is that I watched these videos on YouTube that showed Boston having a huge hurricane, but while it was having a hurricane, it looks like there was a snowstorm too because it was snowing and there was ice in it. So technically speaking, the definition of a bomb cyclone is when 24 millibars drop in 24 hours. A millibar measures atmospheric pressure. I've seen so many snowstorms because I live in Utah, but I have never seen lightning in a snowstorm before. Have you? Because that's what happened in Boston. So we're talking about lightning in a snowstorm, which is very crazy. Could you just imagine having your snowman outside in your front yard and all of a sudden lightning hits it and your snowman blows up? <laughs> that would just be crazy. Having lightning in a snowstorm is so rare that even the most experienced weatherman would rather have lightning in a snowstorm than win a $500 million Powerball. Oh yes, 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 we got it baby, we got it, we got it, woo! Oh, again, again, that's a twofer! Yes, again, that's a three, you gotta be kidding me! You can have your $500 million jackpot in Powerball or whatever the heck it was, but I'll take this baby. So you know I cannot make a bomb cyclone or a hurricane or a huge blizzard, but I can make lightning with this. Woohoo! Lifesavers! They're super yummy and apparently, when you crunch them in your mouth in a dark room, you can see lightning inside of them. I don't know if our camera's actually going to be able to capture in the dark this breaking inside my mouth and basically creating lightning, but we're going to try doing that. Just to show you what it should look like is from one of my favorite YouTube channels, Smarter Every Day. It is a great video showing and explaining how these make lightning. Here we go. I might need one of these. Okay, ready? Ah, I didn't crack it. I don't think that work. What happened? Did you even bite it? Yeah, I did, but this is how far I <laughs> work. Okay, let's get another one. Don't move after I shut it. Mm -hmm. Huh? 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 Ow. Ha 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 ha
this. <laughs> my mouth. Failures. It's burning. My teeth hurt. That's good. Okay, 60 frames a second. I saw a little bit. I saw a little bit on that one. Bit. Yeah. So what you just saw, the blue light, is actually triboluminescence. So triboluminescence is light generated through the breaking of chemical bonds. It's a lot of words. I hope you learned something from my project with lifesavers and lightning and bomb cyclones and hurricanes and a bunch of other stuff. But I sure did and I hope you did too. And if this encouraged you to go buy lifesavers, they are actually very yummy. And now I just have a whole bag of them. Boom, how about that? Yeah, that yeah, it's good. Well, it was all good except for the first time. That was actually my probably best. You didn't even record it. I know I only had one job to do, is to film. I guess two jobs and to edit it. But sometimes, I also had a job on that one. I had to turn off the light. That was tricky. I had to turn off the light, make sure the camera's in his face, and I forgot to push record. Luckily, Lincoln learned that the left side of his mouth is a better chomper than the right side, right? <laughs> right? Every time, without fail, on the left side of your mouth. How do you th what grade do you think you'll get on your project? 100 points. Woo! Out of how many? 300? <laughs> that was 1,000. Oh boy. That was 100. All right, cool. That's our okay, Sunday night. Be cool, Dad. What would be cool? Come here. A water bottle right there. What, you want to flip a water bottle up to that? Yeah. That'd be cool. I, I Maybe for that your just next. reminded me. Maybe for your next science that project. That just reminded me. I need four of these. Because I kind of love. Because I flip water bottles up to like a really high uh, window. So I'm trying to land one water bottle at each of them. So that's my project now. Bye! I think what he was trying to say is at our house we have these three windows and he water bottle flips it up like 20 feet, but it took him like 20 seconds to say all of that. So I'm gonna get some crackers. I'll be back here at the office tomorrow. Um, let us know if you want to see more of Lincoln's school projects. Or my water bottles! Well, nobody cares about your water bottles. You're not even flipping them. That's because they're full. I have to drink them. They don't look that exciting. They're squeaky. Apparently, Grandpa just gives me a remote after we watch the Powerball.